Training Camp Central is powered by Xfinity. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to Camp Breakdown. We're going to look at outside linebackers. Jeff Joniak and Tom Thayer with you as camp moves into its second week. And this is, in my opinion, the most hotly contested position battle on the team. Uh, there are eight guys. Some have never played the position or trying to learn it. And there's a lot of quality there in terms of uh, depth if they all can make the transition. And they all are very skilled players. Right. And like you said, it's a position that hasn't been played for the Bears in the history of the football team. So you have that consistency that the Bears fans have come to find the middle linebacker, two outside linebackers. The linebackers in a system like the 3-4 have to have a lot of versatility. From the ability to rush a passer from a two-point stance, from a three-point stance, to sink inside to get over an offensive lineman where they may give up some power and strength. But again, it's a very attack-style defense that's formulated plan with the outside linebackers with the intent of getting a lot of pressure. One of the marquee pieces is expected to be Pernell McPhee. We've both been very impressed with his ability uh, to make things very difficult on tight ends, tackles, you name it. He's a very vicious player. And it's good for the Bears as a team because the harder he practices, the more physical he is, the better it's going to develop the tight end position. It's going to be, it's going to help the defense and it's going to be an identified weapon. But again, how you factor through on this whole team to make the entire unit better, it's going to be important. I've been impressed with Jared Allen and you pointed out at one of the practices, he's constantly talking technique. He's constantly talking football with other players, coaches, etc. He's really grasping this uh, idea of becoming an outside linebacker for the first time in his career. You know, because this is probably where instincts are going to factor more in his ability to play the position than just the physical ability to rush the passer. He has so many things to go along with what he needs to do in requirement of the position that he's going to have a lot of different jobs. But that's a great thing for Jared and why you, you're glad that he is really ambitious about learning football. Because the people you see him talking to at practice, from the Vic Fangios to the guys that have already played outside linebacker and like Pernell McPhee, to guys that are developing like David Bass and some of the other guys in the crew. Yeah, let's talk about David Bass because he, he looks the profile of that type of player, a three, four outside linebacker right now. Yeah, and I think he was the guy that you thought, who can make the best advancements when you're changing the entire system and you, you change the requirements of a job? And it would be David Bass because you always thought, man, is he on the edge of being a defensive lineman? Now he's a, a, a physical outside linebacker that can take on tight ends, and he has really good instincts because we've seen him intercept passes out in the flat before. Sam Acho does have experience in this system. What do you see of him? Um, when he gets into a one-on-one -on -one scenario against an offensive tackle without a lot of confidence in his feet, he's very dangerous because he can't make a, he can make a dancing offensive tackle miss in space and then he's immediately putting pressure on the quarterback. That's what I like to see out of Sam Acho. And it'll be fun to see if it happens in the preseason games. And then again, how can you put him on that edge where he has the great one-on-one -on -one matchup you need for him? To establish veterans, uh, both coming off injuries are also key guys to watch here. Lamar Houston. I believe he's in the 270 range right now to play that position and still trying to get himself back in, in full go is Willie Young. Willie Young had a breakout season last year after six sacks in his first few years in the NFL, 10 last season. The great thing about him is they're approaching the recovery of their body with great enthusiasm. And if you don't have that, you might as well give up. And that's what I see about Willie, and that's what I see by Lamar. When you look to him, they have a couple periods off time by themselves. They're doing something to condition themselves. They're talking a little bit about the position. They're doing these monotonous footwork drills that are helping them get back. Now, you want to see these guys get back into a competitive position because it's going to make the team better. But you know, it's gonna be a major step forward because these guys that are getting important reps now and some live competition we've seen out here, it's really important to the, this defense moving forward. All right, we got a lot of linebackers to discuss. We just uh, captured the uh, outside linebackers. In our next report, we'll look at the inside linebackers. For Tom Thayer, I'm Jeff Joniak. Thanks for watching.